the, um, the crisis image archives came about uh, in relationship to the, the room that is directly behind this wall that some of you have already gone into, and that's the Alternative Press Center. And the Alternative Press Center, led by Chuck Dadamo and friends, uh, has been indexing leftist and progressive publications uh, since 1969. Um, and, and this is currently where the last five years of these publications are housed. And so last summer, me and a group of friends basically proposed to the Alternative Press Center, well, what if we looked at your publications and we sort of indexed what you don't index, which is the imagery. Um, and with a focus in this particular case on visual representations of crisis. Uh, and the idea with that was that, well, we needed some kind of focus, <laughs> um, but also because leftists and progressive publications were gonna sort of be grappling with the theme and the, the question of, of what is a crisis, what is this crisis, um, and we felt like the other reason to look at it at this particular moment was that because they keep the last five years of, their, of, of the publications in-house, the rest are shipped to a physical archive in Maryland, um, the, the five years at that point in the summer of 2012 was, the, um, were, was 2007 to 2012, so sort of the generally agreed upon years of the recession. So the, so the kind of organization of the exhibition um, is basically centered around these binders, which the binders are the comprehensive images that we found out of the Alternative Press Center. So these are 750 visual representations of crisis, category, you know, according to about 35 kind of visual uh, and rhetorical tropes that were found across those 750 or across those 750 images. What's on the wall is sort of excerpts of that, so some cropped in versions of the photographs. Basically the way that this was produced was uh, a group of us met, looked through the magazines when we saw something that we thought was a visual representation of crisis, we sort of flagged it, <laughs> then handed it off to the next person, they took a photograph of it like on a, with a photo kind of stand, and then uh, the next person on the assembly line um, entered all of the sort of information, like the essential information about where it came from and who the illustrator or photographer were, and put that into a database. So it's, some of that information is available on, in, on the printed out versions in the binders, but that's also sort of a, another layer of the project is that it'll be an online database where they're searchable, um, searchable like according to a number of different, you know, kind of categories and keywords. And so the stuff on the wall are the sort of excerpted versions of that um, as are, you know, these on the table here. Um, and then the sort of, the other elements that are here in this exhibition are that um, down the, on, in the hallways are back issues of In These Times magazine that somehow deal with uh, economic crisis, uh, but from different historic uh, crisis moments. And then as well, the sort of clip art, um, cartoons and documentary photography that's in this hallway come from in these, in these times physical uh, image archives from their own publishing history where they basically have a whole, you know, sort of um, a whole file folder system of just like, here's all of our cartoons that we've ever gotten about, you know, finance or whatever. And so that was sort of the stuff I went through and that's just in addition, kind of a supplement to the, to the core of this work, which is focused around 2007 to 2012. And that stuff is more from the 80s and 90s. And then the other, the, the other element is on that wall, you see po some poems starting to accumulate down that hallway. And that's a, a, an ongoing project where the next objectivist poetry group is gonna be in residence and meeting this summer at the Alternative Press Center and basically making a new body of poetic responses to the crisis image archives.